Now we're going to learn about two more definitions about graphs. So these we're going to talk about concave up and concave down. This is called the concavity of a graph. So we say a, fun a graph is concave up on an interval if the derivative is increasing on that interval. So if the de derivative is getting larger. Um, we say f of x is concave down on an interval if the derivative is decreasing on that interval. Now, that's kind of hard to picture, so let's talk about what that means. Concave up is going to look like this. Kind of like a smiley face, or a U. Okay, and it might not be that drastic. It could just even be kind of like this, kind of half of it. Think about if you uh, were, you know, pouring water into it, it would hold the water. It would create a puddle. Concave down is when we're going this way. So you could think of it like a sad face. Think about if you were pouring on water from up above, it would run off. It wouldn't um, fill. Now, the definitions tell us we're concave up when the derivative is getting larger. And if you see here, if we talk about the derivative, the slopes of the tangent lines here would be negative. They'd be getting less negative, zero, and then they would be coming positive, okay? They would be getting larger. Here, we would have a positive slope, less positive, less positive, zero, and then negative, so the slope would be decreasing. Now, if we talk, we talked previously about how to find when a function is increasing or decreasing, and we said, it's increasing when the derivative is positive and decreasing when the derivative is negative. Well, now we need to talk about the derivative of the derivative, which is the second derivative. So in terms of f of x, f of x is going to be concave up when the second derivative is positive. Okay, so when the second derivative is greater than zero is positive, then f of x is concave up. And um, when the derivative is negative, then f of x is concave down. We call the point where the concavity changes, so where it either changes from concave up to concave down, an inflection point. So these, if we go from concave down to concave up, it kind of looks like that. And this point right here where it changes would be the inflection. Okay, we could also go from being concave up and then change to concave down. Okay, and this point right in here would be an inflection point. And how do we find our inflection points? Well, an inflection point occurs where the second derivative is zero or is undefined. And that point is in the domain of the original function. Okay, so we'll apply these definitions in the next video, um, but that gives you the definitions we'll need.